Hey, this is Carmine, owner of Cheer Sounds, and I'm gonna show you how you could start your own cheer music business using a count mixer. A count mixers are patent pending a count sheet with a play button. It lets you drag and drop songs, voiceovers, and sound effects directly onto an a count sheet. Press play and hear the mix instantly, all before paying. Now, a count mixer was originally made just for customers to use, but after the new music changes came out, we heard hundreds of phone calls of people who said, I used to make music for all the local schools around me, and that was a source of income. Well, you can now use a count mixer to continue making music for other teams and continue that source of income that you had before. Now, I'm not sitting in a fancy studio. I'm sitting at a conference table on my laptop. My laptop is my studio with a count mixer, and your laptop is your studio with a count mixer. You don't need to know anything about music production. All you need to know how to do is fill out an a count sheet. If you can do that, you can make a mix in a count mixer. A typical high school routine sells between $300 and $500 for custom music. With a count mixer, you are building a custom routine. It's built to the team's choreography. It's built to using the songs you want with the voiceovers you want and the sound effects where you want them. But on a count mixer, a 130 high school routine is $150. Now that leaves plenty of headroom for you to resell that mix to the team to compensate yourself for the labor of building the mix. The good part is the labor is minimal. I'm gonna show you how I can do a 45 second halftime routine in 12 minutes, and it's gonna sound good. I'll show you how to do it. First, let's take a look at a count mixer. On the left side of the screen, we have our categories, which include settings, clips, and effects. Then we have the preview pane, where you can view and preview clips. On the right side, we have the a count sheet. Any clip on the A count sheet can be clicked on to view its options. All audio clips can be previewed by clicking the play button either in the preview pane or on the A count sheet. To preview the entire mix, click the preview your mix button at the top left of the screen. Now let's make a mix. Go to cheersounds.com, click the mixes menu at the top and select make your own. This will load A count mixer. The first thing to do is set our mix settings. I'll choose a 45 second duration for this example. I like to turn the speed up to 150 beats per minute and lower the effects gain just so the sound effects are a little quieter. I'll type in a mix name, a team name, and a quick description. Before we can use a count mixer, we'll have to log in. Clicking any play button will bring up a login dialog. I'll log in with Facebook. Now we can preview clips on the a count sheet. All right, let's add some songs. I'll search for a song with the word fire in the title. Click the play button on any of the results to preview the clip. We can add this clip to the A count sheet by clicking and dragging it onto the sheet. Any clip can be previewed on the A count sheet or in the preview area. Let's add some sound effects. I'll start searching for sound effects at the top like hands for handspring, or punch. Duplicating clips is as simple as clicking on them and selecting the duplicate icon. This helps when creating repetitive sections like handspring sequences or jump sequences. Previewing can be done in the preview area or on the A-count sheet. I have an A-count sheet in my hands from a customer and I'm just putting in the sound effects on A-count mixer. It usually only takes a few minutes. Now with this clip, this motion sound, it's a little loud. So by clicking on the clip and selecting the speaker icon, I can lower the volume of that clip. This is an easy way of making some sound effects stand out more than others. For the sake of not boring you, I'm going to speed up the video just to get past the adding of sound effects. Now to hear this section, this Cheer Sounds Fire song, with all of the sound effects included, I can press the little play button next to the beginning of the Cheer Sounds Fire clip. Every time I'm done with the preview, I usually tweak a few sound effects and listen again. Great, now let's build a transition. Let's check out some of them. Cheersounds.com. Cheersounds.com. 
Most of these transitional sections are just background elements that create excitement. They make a good bed for voiceovers. So we'll pick transition number six, and I'll drop it in on this eight count. Cheersounds.com. So now we'll go to the voiceover section, and we'll find a voiceover to add on top of this. I'll search for a male voiceover that says something about being back. Cheers back once again. again. Back once again, here for the win. At seven beats, and then I'll add the mascot onto the end, bears. And preview. Bears! A lot of the voiceovers are a little loud, so I'm just going to pull the volume down on this clip and the previous one. And it puts it a little bit more in volume with the vocals and the music. I prefer that. For this section, I only see one sound effect to put in. And now let's pick a song for the next section. So go back to the music. We'll search for Iggy. And let's take Team. Team has no other variations. It's just that one clip. That clip is six eight counts long. But I'd only like to use four eight counts of it. Let's preview. Now these two eight counts right here, eight count nine and ten, or the third and fourth of this clip, I don't want those. I want to go straight to the fifth and sixth of the clip. So click and select the finger scissors to split the clip. We'll do that again at the end of that fourth eight count of the clip. And now we can delete that whole section. Slide this up. And now I have the first two eight counts and the last two eight counts of this track. I'll put in my sound effects and then we're gonna use a music effect. I wanna drop out the music behind my basket sound. So we'll go to the music effects section, search silence and drop that in on the fifth and sixth beat. Now, when I preview this section, the music will drop out for beat five and six and let the sound effect play all by itself. We can also drag and drop a stutter effect onto the five, six, seven, eight at the end of the second eight count of Iggy. Let me just add the sound effects. After I do some type of stutter effect, I like the next downbeat to have a little bit of impact to it. So I'm going to go to the sound effects section and grab one of these booms, like boom with, yeah. And I put that right on the downbeat that I want to emphasize. I could also take the volume and push it up a little bit just to give that big impact. I'm just going to populate the rest of the sound effects from the eight count sheet. I'll use that duplicate clip command a few times here. Now, once that's all done, I want to hear this section with the sound effects so I can hit the little play button at the beginning of the Iggy clip. All right, moving forward, let's add in a premium section as our next transition. A premium section is pretty much a transition that has a vocalist on it other than the male cheer voiceover. So it might have a female or it might have a rapper vocal. So we'll search male, something that has to do with power. Preview. There's no denying, we are electrifying. Got the power up here to shock, you know we are supplying. All right, so that two eight count will work great. I'll drag and drop that in, and we'll add in our sound effects per the eight count sheet. Now, as I'm doing my sound effects here, I see at the bottom that I only have one eight count left to this routine, which is sometimes hard to work with. So I'm going to split a piece of this clip. Let's cut the second half of this clip by clicking and using the scissor fingers. Now we'll duplicate this part of the clip and drag it down to eight count number 13. Now lyrically and musically, that's a pretty good setup for an ending boom. Let me just drop in my camera sound. And then we'll go to the transition category to find an ending boom. Those booms are sometimes used as transitions. Cheersounds.com so you can see we have options. And we'll pick our favorite and drag it onto the eight count sheet. And let's add the mascot voiceover on top of that just to close out this routine. We'll search mascot bears, drag, lower the volume because some of those voiceovers are a little loud. And that's it. Let's check out the whole routine right from the top. At the top left of the screen, you'll see preview your mix. Hit that, it will generate the entire mix. I would like to welcome all competition. 
transition to the amazing inferno. Been too hot for way too long. One second you might get burned, so just step back and watch. You know we just too hot. Gotta find us real while I'm about to blow up the spot. Come on. Back once again. Here for the win. Bears. Not bad. As I listen through, I make some mental notes so I can make some changes. I'd like to add another clap here uh, just to, to keep that rhythm going. I'll add in a uh, music effect, just a bit of silence right behind this jump to open that up. It creates a little bit more uh, dynamic. Then I just want to adjust the volume of these punch sounds. That's when the feet hit the ground during the handspring sequence. Just push that up a drop. Then we can just preview the mix again and listen to our changes. And since we like the way this mix sounds, we can hit the Add to Cart button. The mix and download file will be automatically generated and added to your cart. If you require the additional licenses for USA Cheer, they are available during the checkout process. Now you can use this mix for your team or your client's team.